smoke on the bush. Today, talking pork butt. And this is one of the bigger butts that I'm gonna do out on the Weaver Smoky Mountain. As you know, I got the 14 and a half. And normally, I do the butts that are boneless, about two, two and a half pounds. But I went, I got me a nine pound butt. This one is not nine pounds. I've already cut off five pounds. I made a different recipe a little bit earlier this week. And this comes in right around four and a half pounds. Still has the bone in, I have the fat cap on it. And I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible just to see how the smoker does with a bigger cut of meat. So I went ahead, throwing some oil on this. I'm gonna season it the night before and then I'm gonna rejoin you in the morning once we get it out on the smoker. I'm gonna try to keep our temps a little bit lower tomorrow, maybe 225, 230. And I'm going to try mesquite wood. Never used it before, but from what I've heard, it burns a little harder than the normal woods I use, like pecan or some of the fruit wood. So I'm gonna try just one chunk of the mesquite, mix in a little bit of cherry wood and see what kind of results I get from that. And I'll keep you updated throughout the status. And you know, hopefully this won't be a long cook. I know normally with butts you'll see cooks nine, 10 hours. So I think we can knock this out in about six hours at the most. Have some good dinner? What? Pulled pork? Shoot. Yeah, I don't even know. What I'm gonna be doing with this butt, I'm gonna throw a little bit of uh, sugar on here and along with some uh, Memphis rub that I got. Use whatever rub you like on your uh, pork butts. And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and season this tonight and then we'll throw it on the smoker early in the morning and fingers crossed that it's done before dinner time. That way I can have pulled pork taco, maybe a sandwich. So we'll see how it all works out. And I'm gonna start seasoning the fat cap first and I won't put too much seasoning on there. I'll go pretty heavy on the other sides of the pork itself. So I've had the pork in the refrigerator overnight and what I did was season it last night, about nine o'clock this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and get my cold started up. Try to get my WSM to around 225, 235. And we'll go ahead and throw this four and a half pound pork butt on the smoker and get to cooking today. I decided to use the Ready Check digital thermometer that way I could just stay inside while the pork was cooking and have to run in and out the back door. Right now I'm just waiting on the temp. Come up to around 225, 230 and then we'll start adjusting the bottom vents. And we're ready to check. We're already at 240 so we're going to start closing down these bottom vents. Close down all three of the bottom vents down to the size of the number two pencil just to keep my temp from getting too high. And as you can see, that pork, it's happy. It's ready to get on that smoker and get to cooking. So I went ahead, took it out the saran wrap so I could throw it out there on the smoker. And when putting it on there, I try to keep it towards the middle of the top grate because that's the uh, coldest part of the grate. And as I was mentioning, I do want to keep my temp between 225, 235. Just slow cook this pork butt. Let it take all the time it needs to really break down that fat. I'm just putting the probe in there, making sure it doesn't get any bone, and putting my lid back on and letting it get to cook. The internal temp's only about 129, but we're just going to check for color and see what we're looking like so far. And and normally. Uh, I've done pork butts in the past. I'll throw a little juice or something on the outside of it. Um, I just don't feel like doing that this cook. So what I'm gonna do is just cook it to it's a little bit darker and I'll probably wrap it in some foil just to finish it off. And we'll just keep cooking until we get to 190 internal and it's uh, pullable. So about four and a half hours into the cook here, the internal on the pork butt is in at 154. So decided to go ahead and wrap it so we can finish cooking it. So 
if it get tender near the end of the cook here. Eight hours in, we are at 196 internal. We are about to get this pork butt off the smoker and let it rest for at least 30 minutes. And then we'll check it out then and see what we're looking at. Just to show you, eight hours in. Even after 30 minutes, the inside of that pork butt was still piping hot, but that meat was so moist and it came off that blade bone. I mean, just take a look at that. Blade bone completely clean. I mean, that's the internal thermometer of the pork butt if you didn't have a digital thermometer to rely on. Easily shreds with a couple of forks. I mean, I could have gotten in there with my hands, just didn't feel like getting dirty. And look, nice smoke ring around it. I think that came from the mesquite. And look at that moisture. I mean, just look at it. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mm-mm-mm.